Hey, good morning YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a little bit of an adventure for you. We're going to Low Show. Unfortunately, this hurricane that's coming in decided to wreck our plans and Amtrak canceled the auto train. So we're going to have to make the drive. Something I did not want to do. Not a fan of being in the car for that long, but we are going to go ahead and space it out. We don't have to rush to get there. So we're probably going to stop somewhere along the way, get some sleep, get back on the road. I'm excited to tell you guys that this video is actually sponsored by Integrated Engineering. Um, anything you need performance wise, intakes, exhaust, downpipes, tune, anything like that. Now they're getting into suspension parts, springs, sway bars, stuff like that. Definitely check them out. They have a wide variety for multiple cars. I have pretty much everything you can put on the S4 from them and no complaints. Everything has been fantastic. As you guys know, they've been a partner for a long time, and I'm actually going to take the car up to Pennsylvania to put the car in the booth at Low Show. So very excited to see Christian and Zane, see those guys, hang out with them for the weekend, and you can come check out the car at their booth. Speaking of the car, we've got it right here. It is ready to go. We've got the new wheels, well, old wheels, repowder coated. They are on. I went with a uh, sort of a all white, black hardware. It's a gloss metallic pearl white. Looks pretty cool in the sun. It's gonna suck to clean though, I'll tell you that much. And up front, of course, sorry if the lighting isn't the best. Front end is done. We've got the Carbon Grove from Canadian Auto Performance. We'll talk about that more later. Because I am making the drive, I decided to go ahead and put together a little roadside kit that I'm gonna throw in the trunk. We've got torque wrench, some basic, uh, we've got like a 10, a 13, some wrenches, some screwdrivers, tire repair kit, some gloves, stuff like that just because you never know what's gonna happen. All right, and you know it's not a video without seeing Archer. Archer, you wanna say hi? Yay! There he is. He is not excited that I'm leaving, but my friend's gonna stay with him and watch him while I'm gone. He's gonna have a good time. They're gonna have a little uh, hurricane party. Even though the storm really shouldn't be anything on our side, we'll probably just get some wind and some rain. I'm really not prepping for it. She might lose power for a day, but uh, we've got her set up with some water and some snacks, and Archer's got everything he needs as well. All right, so that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to finish packing. i got to do, uh, you know, clothes, shoes, all that good stuff. Get ready for Bobby to get here. He had an appointment this morning, so we couldn't leave, like, bright and early. We're going to leave, get on the road. We'll be filming along the way. Again, you know, with Amtrak kind of canceling that, kind of ruined our plan to show you guys the auto train and show you how that experience is. But it's all right. Adapt and improvise. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get on the road here in a few hours and uh, check back in then. All right, see you guys. What's up, everybody? So Bobby's here. He's behind the camera. We got the car loaded up. We've got some snacks. Next stop's going to be Bucky's. Well, first, I do need to get gas because I am on E because I never drive the car. So first, gas, Bucky's, and we'll probably stop somewhere in North Carolina tonight. I'm thinking for a hotel to get some sleep because 14 plus hours is a long drive to do without stopping. Like I already said before, the plan was to be heading to the auto train right now, but unfortunately, this hurricane's kind of ruining it. So we're going to hop in the S4 and we're going to get on the road. We will check back in with you in a few hours. some Sonic. We got Bobby. Cheers. Some shark Tank. Some food. We're gonna eat this. 
get some sleep, get back on the road tomorrow. We only have about five hours. I don't know if I said that before or not, but I think that's about what we have left. We're going to Bel Air first though. Gotta go see my dad. Uh, he just had a surgery, so gonna go check on him, make sure he's good. And I haven't seen him since this time last year when I made the trip to Low Show. So we're gonna see him, get some food with him, hang out, and then Thursday, we'll be heading up to PA to Low Show. And again, big shout out to Integrated Engineering for sponsoring this video. Uh, none of this would be possible without your guys' assistance, so really appreciate it. Make sure you go get all your Go Fast parts from them. What's up, guys? Good morning. It is Wednesday. About to head out from Rocky Mount, head up to Bel Air, Maryland, stay with my dad for a day, and then on to Lone Show. Got some coffee, we got Bobby there in the back, and uh, we just gotta get some gas, get some more energy drinks, and then get on the road. So we will check in with a border crossing at Virginia. See you guys there. <laughs> like 60 something degrees here in maryland it's crazy kind of cold for us floridians but i'll tell you what it feels good compared to the weather we've had down there recently because it has been hot every single day last night i hit up my buddy victor at reflected images detailing he's the manager there uh to see if he could get me in for a wash i tried to go to like a self-serve and just rinse this thing off but it really didn't do much so he agreed he said yes come on by this morning we're gonna get you taken care of so we are getting ready to head there if you guys are ever in the bel air Hartford county area or really if you're just in maryland Check out Reflected Images, they're awesome. They do full on paint correction, detailing, PPF, whatever you need, they'll get you taken care of. Brian's the owner there, I've known him for years. He's a super good guy, really has a good attention to detail and their cars come out looking immaculate. So we're gonna get ready and head there. We're gonna shoot a little bit at the shop there. I know we're gonna come back here, hang out with dad for a little bit longer. And tonight we're heading up to PA for beginning of Low Show. All right, see you guys at the shop. Pennsylvania roads trying to murder us. We made it. Got the S4 in one piece. Wear it out. We're parked. Gotta go ahead and get our luggage. Head inside. There's Bob. And um, yeah, we're tired. So we're yeah. gonna head inside and get checked in. All right. Check it out, guys. We are checked in to the hotel. Still gotta figure out the lights and everything, but this room is crazy. You know, we were getting like a basic room or whatever, but we walk in, we have like a whole kitchenette, full fridge, sofa, living room, TV, 
desk, all this good stuff. And then there's a whole other part with two friggin' beds, bathroom, closet. Pretty awesome. More than enough room for us for the weekend. But that is going to be it for today. We are beat. We just met some really nice Volkswagen owners out in the parking lot. We'll talk with them for a few minutes. And uh, they came from near Scranton. If you guys are familiar with the office, pretty sure that's where it's based out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. But anyways, we are going to get to sleep. I gotta grab a snack first, then get to sleep. And tomorrow is the first event, which is gonna be the brunch meet. And then we're gonna go from there. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning everybody, it is Friday. We're going to brunch meet up at Coventry. Gonna go check out what's going on over there. We saw the integrated boys last night. They're actually staying in the same hotel as us. So we went down and hung out with them for a few minutes. Got some well needed rest. We're caffeinated, we're dressed, we're ready to go. We'll see you over at the brunch meet. to lean customs vip night there's the line pretty much like it was last year we're gonna go stand in that for a little bit go get some pins
after the lean VIP night, we got some, uh, some stuff here I'm gonna show you. So, got the gold series of 25. This is the VIP bag here. Pin, pennant, coffee mug, keychain, stuff like that. Some of the pins I got. And then over here, one of the pins I did have to buy. I got a little t-shirt on the back. It's like a Mark II of the Pandem kit. Pretty cool. And then at the low store, the Wheel Force merch was like really cheap. So bought some shirts, bought some air fresheners, lanyard, bag, stuff like that. Bobby got some stuff too, some lean pins there. You got the VIP bag as well. A little coffee mug in that box. This is the pin here. Came with the VIP night. Gold Porsche. Here's the uh, coffee mug. It's just like a lean customs. It's got some gold black on it. We love coffee, so this will definitely get used. Pretty cool. All oh, earlier at the outlets, we got some, got some hats, some dolphin stuff. Went to the outlets here, it's a couple minutes away. Tried to buy some sneakers, but the deals were not great, so I didn't buy any sneakers. And there's the shirt I was telling you guys about. The Mark II, and then it came with the pin as well. Pretty cool shirt. Nice material, good quality, and then the free pin doesn't uh, doesn't hurt. We're gonna shut it down though, because if you guys have never been here, Lean makes these drinks. Um, what are they called? Nutcrackers. Nutcrackers. And they're really, really strong. I had one with some tequila, pineapple juice, and uh, well, let's just say I'm tired now. We also met up with the integrated boys over at the beer garden. Had a beer over there. It's a little local brewery. Um, super good stuff. He got a sour. I got a wheat. Really, really, really good. So yeah, we're going to get some sleep. Get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the cars and coffee in the morning with integrated and euro tuning and then the all car car show is happening downtown and with the actual show it's gonna be sunday but tomorrow it's like kind of an all car anybody can come people in the town last year there's like some corvettes american muscles some jdm stuff a little bit of everything so we're gonna check out that for a bit tomorrow but until then we'll see you guys tomorrow morning guys saturday cars and coffee day we already had some coffee in the room, but we're gonna go get some more. Well, because we might have a caffeine dependency. And I have Celsius. We're gonna head over there, we'll get some shots, hang out with Integrated and Euro Tuning. We'll see you there.
the sun is killing us. Even though we're from Florida, you'd think we'd be used to it, but we're just old. You know, the drive, walking around the army for so many years, we are just beat. But we went and got some good Mexican food for being in the middle of Pennsylvania. It was pretty decent. It was the same spot if you guys saw the BMW slash Mustang crash. And I say slash Mustang because it was a BMW that did Mustang things. Just don't do that. If you go to a car show, be respectful. Especially if you're not from there. Like, it's not your town. Just, just, just do the right thing. There's a time and a place to show off. And leaving our cars and coffee is not the time and or place. Tomorrow's the show. We got to be up early. Uh, after food, we went and washed the car. So it's ready to go. Just probably have to wipe it down once we get there. And then we're going to walk around and get some footage of the show. I'm going to try to find some integrated engineering parts that are installed on cars. Highlight that kind of stuff. And show you guys the rest of the show through our eyes. We will see you in the morning.
could. I tell you, even being from Florida, it was hot out there. I am sweaty and disgusting and I can't wait to take a shower. Behind me, we've got some swag, some goodies. We got some stuff from Lean, we got some stuff from Rotoform, Hoonigan. We got the uh, Harlequin valve pen, I'll show you guys that. Pretty cool, little limited thing they did. And it takes my favorite pen insert, which is the G2, so I'm stoked on that. Put that on my desk at work. But for now, we're gonna chill in the AC for a bit, relax, take a shower, change, and uh, probably go grab dinner with the integrated people so we can see them one last time before leaving. We'll check in tomorrow morning, and along the drive home, we're probably gonna stop like in the beginning of Georgia or the end of South Carolina, something like that. We're gonna stop again, and then finish the drive Tuesday morning back to Florida. See you in the morning. Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, we've already been on the road for about 200 miles now. We're in West Virginia, taking a slightly different route back instead of 95, because 95 sucks. So we're taking 81 down and all the way over to 95, and that's where we're gonna stop for the night in Hardyville. We already got the hotel booked. It's like another 600 or so miles. We're checking along the way, show you guys the uh, state line crossings and all that kind of good stuff, and we'll see you there. since sometime this morning. Don't remember how many hours, maybe 11, 700-ish miles, some stops, some really nice scenery though, taking 81 down instead of 95. So that was cool. We are just a few miles from the border of Georgia. I thought we were staying in Georgia tonight, but we're actually still in South Carolina. My mistake, but whatever. The hotel was a lot cheaper than it would have been in Savannah, so here we are. We are gonna crash and pass out, get some sleep, get back on the road tomorrow, and get home. We'll show you guys a little bit more of the journey, but until then, good night, see you in the morning. What's up, YouTube? It is the morning, it is the day we head home. Like I said last night, we are in South Carolina, very close to the border. We are gonna get some fuel here, get some caffeine, hit Bucky's on the way home, and then that is it, straight home from there. Get the car freaking packed up, got Bobby. We got gang gang, trunks full, cars looking dirty as all hell, but there she is. All right, see you guys soon. All right guys, we made it. I am exhausted. Bobby just loaded up his car and rolled out. He's got like a 30 minute drive to get back to his place. Archer was super pumped to see me. Now he's uh, he's pretty chill now. Yay! He, is, man he was super pumped to see me. Now he's pretty chill, just relaxing. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope that I got some good footage of the show. Tried to highlight some integrated parts since they're sponsoring the video. Also wanted to hit some of the meats and stuff like that, some of the drive, you know, everything just just in one video. It's probably going to take me a little bit to get this edited and up, but hopefully I can get it done sooner than later. Uh, my goal would be maybe by Monday next week, so just not, not that long. So really just a few short days away. Uh, I do have to go back to work tomorrow and Thursday, and then I have my three-day weekend that I normally have. And again, massive shout out to Integrated Engineering for sponsoring this video, for allowing me to go up on the trip. It was great. It was great hanging out with Christian, Zane, uh, meeting a couple of the other guys that I have not met before, and then uh, Christian's wife and Zane's girlfriend. I think it was just his girlfriend. Don't kill me if you're his wife, but I'm pretty sure you're just his girlfriend for now. Also, don't forget about using my discount code, WobbleNuts. If you are going to place an order with Integrated, you'll save yourself some money. Uh, I will also put a link in the description down below if you just want to click directly on that to place the order. Nothing really new coming for the S4 soon. I might, I might switch over to Integrated's exhaust that they just released for the V9. 
It sounds pretty cool uh, looking at the video clip. It sounds like it has kind of a deeper growl. The AWE exhaust has been pretty great. It's just very loud because I do have the track set up on there. You can convert and put the touring mufflers on the car, um, but since Integrated just released their exhaust, I may just switch over completely. But it is going to be a lot of work because I would essentially have to replace the entire exhaust system from the downpipe back. And I mean, I've done it before, but do I want to do it again? We'll see. If you guys see any of your cars in the video, let me know. Drop a comment. Let me know which car is yours. And again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.